last week's game. That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. So it looked like they were trying to get him outside there, but this defense had different plans. Yeah, they really had an outside-in kind of a pass rush. It's almost like when you're covering a punt, you can't let him get to the outside and get to the sideline. You force him to stay in the middle of the field, and they did exactly that and made the play. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Jabril Peppers is deep for the Giants. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. He'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And he's looking good now. I mean, five touchdown passes in the last game. Okay, he threw a couple of interceptions. That's a little bit of a concern. But I remember a basketball coach telling me one time, he had a guy who averaged about 40 points a game, and he said the press got all over him because he didn't play much defense. He said he's averaging over 40 a game. The guy against him is not scoring that. We still have the advantage. Yeah, and they got the win last week in that effort. Even better. It's always best to clean up things after a win than after a loss. From the 24 now, here's second and three. Here's Wilson to throw. Washington's got it. Seven yards there and a first down. The Giants at 7-3 and three now on the year. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Escaping the pressure right. And they're going to get this up to midfield. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted them out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal and we rely on it. You better be prepared because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop that. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Wilson. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That's good for 28 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Wilson will throw again. Steps away to his left. And he just chopped that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It's a third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a new ball attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. On third and goal, Wilson. Washington brings it in near the sideline. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Now Harrison Bunker for the field goal try from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Bunker's kick here is good, and the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. 
over on the sideline hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out they had to punt it away this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone throwing on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete so much of this game is focus and concentration and whenever i see guys running the in route i know that in the back of their mind they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big head on them as they try and catch them and he's taken to the ground but he was pulled down by the face mask here come the flags and i believe this is going to be a first down So the hand got inside the face mask that time. Looked like a, a pretty easy call. And it was, and we saw this in their loss last week. Penalties at inopportune times that led to their demise. Brissette to throw on first. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. That's an early scramble to be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Here's Brissett. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Washington. up and good but hold on a second there is a flag so they'll go ahead and accept the penalty after the roughing penalty on the PAT they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Play action. It's Wilson. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's across midfield, and they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 41-yard line. Here's Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he will take it all in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants have retaken the lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. 
to me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Brissett. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Robinson will try to pick it up. There's Robinson showing the flash. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 35 before going out. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Throwing, Brissett. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. set now. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 24-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. We're set on first down. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And he's not able to get away, sacked back at the 22. It was Leo Chanel who got in to drop him. Seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. Calling a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll run for it with Robinson. Pushing through the contact. And he's brought down. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. It's no secret their season is not going the way that they want it. So in a spot like that on fourth down, is it kind of like, why not? Let's just go for it. I would hope that would be part of their game plan going in. There's no reason not to go for it in that situation. But if I flip it over to the other side, you also know that their season is a struggle for them. You should expect them to be a little more wide open and go for it in fourth down situations. You should be prepared for that. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. On play action, Brissett escapes the sack. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective. and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. This is third and goal. Brissett looking for McClure, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. 
two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Commanders have taken the lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead is now 14-10. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Tucker now to return it. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. These two teams met at MetLife Stadium earlier this year with the Giants winning that one. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. Looking to throw. Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had him back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. They get this to Beckham on the perimeter. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On third down, Wilson. This one goes down wide for Barkley. And he'll get it down to the 40. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And the Giants send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. 
personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching that partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. Throwing again here, Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now it's Wilson. And he backs it away and it falls down incomplete. How about this deep? here for him in with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson in the commander offense. At his current pace, sure looks well in line for a 1,000-yard season, but... Some of the older folks watching that remember the 12 game seasons in the NFL probably say, man, it was a lot harder to do that back then. Yeah, even the 14 game seasons. And you know, when we talk to those veteran runners, some of those guys who wear gold jackets, right, and appear in Canton, they look at this and go, you know, it's kind of like going to school and taking five years to get your degree instead of just four. <laughs> a victory lap. Well, they also used to walk uphill to school both ways. In the snow. In the snow. Blizzard. Milk was five cents. <laughs> hey, but he's having a great year not to take anything away from it. They get seven there on the screen that'll set up a third down. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. To throw his percent. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and three at the 43 yard line. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Out of the gun, Brissett. That's out wide here for Robinson. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Josh Allen, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Robinson up the middle, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. 
So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. The Giants going to take over again on offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Yes, sir. How about an out-of-boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. He completes it to Beckham. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Again, it's OBJ back-to-back -back catches. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley as the first half is winding down. And the Giants have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make this a six-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see. What halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10.
second half begins with a run from Barkley. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 64 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. As always, no rooting interest here, but that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else, though, right? Without a doubt, because they're the ones that often have created it. They keep it with Barkley on first down. They'll get this down to the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to pull that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They go play action now. Wilson. And bringing it in right side here. Beckham. Touchdown. Odell Beckham. 38 yards. And the Giants come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Wilson going to throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you to bigger errors. He's just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Shrugs him off. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. On third down, Robinson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. That's Akeem Hicks, the towering NFL vet, coming in for the sack. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Only able to gain a couple there. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Here's Brissett. That one downfield for Dodson. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took.
It's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for Washington. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here now, time to discuss Odell Beckham Jr. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They snap it at one. Now Wilson. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. The first down carry for Barkley. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. They'll try to right side here. Barkley. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On second down, Wilson. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. So second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. Here's Wilson to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to mark how precise he's been so the football these last couple of years. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, and he's got his man, Beckham. Touchdown, Giants. Oh, now Beckham with his second touchdown of the game. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a 19-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. The Washington offense set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Gibson here running out of the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate, 
and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. A first down throw for Brissett. Checks this one down to Robinson. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Brings up second and seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. That's good for a Washington. Brissett. That's Samuel caught left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. Brissett again. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So the completion good for just three. And now that sets up third and two. Off the play fake. Here's Brissett. And that will be incomplete. Credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Dodson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Commanders are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Boswell good with the extra point. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And now the rookie's free. And he's going to be out of bounds here as his guys will have it to start the fourth. This time has run out. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Second down and three. Now Wilson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. 
he's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Washington ready to try again on offense. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. First down, Brissett. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. To throw, Brissad. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. If they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Again, it's Brissett. To the right side and complete to Hurst. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. A give running right, Gibson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Antonio Gibson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point put through by Boswell. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all the way up just shy of midfield before going out of bounds at the 49. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Buying time to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. Throw left side taken in by Washington. He's going to go out of bounds. 
yards, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Here's Wilson. He finds his target, Beckham. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. To throw is Wilson. And he's going to have the hook up to Schwartz. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take go like turtle. At the and he's got it! Touchdown, Giants! Darnell Washington, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Giants add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a 19-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, where well, their defense has really struggled. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That no man that time, and end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Throwing. Brissett. Over the middle. That's caught by Mechie. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. To throw is Brissett. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Brissett throw complete to Dotson. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. From the red zone now, Brissett. And it's caught. Touchdown, Washington. John Mechie from 17 yards out. And the Commanders get a bit closer. Boswell good with the extra point. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number as empirical. And they're going to speed things up here. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 44. Now Wilson on second down. And bringing it in. this 
yards inside the 30. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Barkley inside handoff. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 109 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now it's Wilson. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will make this a 19-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going okay. up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Brissett now. Coming across the field, he finds Dotson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Out of the gun for set. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And this is a situation where, as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. Fourth down, Brissette. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Giants are going to take over in great field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Oh, Wilson going to throw. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Wilson's throw complete there to Beckham. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now Wilson. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. And they won't run a play here, no victory formation. They will indeed try to get three more. From the right hash, this from 53. 
Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this league. And Gibson decides.